Hey there folks, Ross here from Open Airway, currently in the UCT Anesthesia Airway Skills Lab and I just want to respond to Min's excellent short video just now on uh, some finer points of technique for the cannula cricothyroidotomy. I'm not going to go into the debate between needle and cannula, uh, it's a surgical cricothyroidotomy this time because I think that's a good debate that needs to rage on, uh, but I thought I'll add these uh, nuggets from the coalface. So I haven't got piped oxygen in my lab to do the actual oxygenation, I'm going to use this 15 mil connector that comes with a bronchial blocker onto an ambu bag just to simulate when I'd be doing my ventilation. So in terms of the technique, I've got my 14 gauge angiocath and I've got my syringe which is basic equipment that I need. I'm going to remove the filter off the back of the angiocath, connect that to the syringe. I like to use the needle in a beveled down orientation. I'm going to do the laryngeal handshake as so nicely described by Leviton. Feel for the cartridges in the midline, identify the cricothyroid membrane. I'm going to go through the cricothyroid membrane, feel for the pop when I'm in the trachea, keeping everything nice and stabilized, aspirate air, advance off my cannula, make the needle safe, again, aspirate air to confirm I'm still in the trachea, and then connect my ventilation, and I'm good to go.